Hello, Hammerhead Nation. No? Okay, I agree. Anyway, uh, it's playoff time round number one. We have the Nashville Predators here, and I did see a comment, and I kind of want to do it because I normally do it, just not for this franchise mode for whatever reason, probably because, you know, I'm actually doing a franchise mode here. Fantasy draft and stuff, I always do it, but uh, trade offer notifications, stars only there. That should help us, and I won't have to go edit the trading block as much, but regardless, we got round one here. Smashville, they finished 5-5-0, we finished 5-4-1, and, and let's have a look at their team, shall we? Let's view lines, go check out Nashville, see what they're all about down there at this point. Nashville, there you go. Okay, that first line is terrifying. Tolvanen, uh, Jaeger, is that his name, actually? Anyway, um, and Marshall McLaren, I'm gonna call you Brayden. Um, I kind of like Marshall too, so I'm going to call you Marshall. And then, uh, Tolvin in there. Okay, so that first line is really good. Second line is, you know, it's pretty solid. Forsberg is 33, he's down to 84 overall now. And they all seem to be, never mind, this guy's third line. Um, uh, Dustin Bufflin? No, it's Dalton. Anyway, yeah, pretty good second line. Third line is there. And then fourth line, they have Morgan Frost. Why? Alright, anyway... He's an 84 overall, listed as a second line forward on the fourth line. That checks out. This guy's listed as a minor scoring forward. Uh-huh. Anyway, good team, offensively. Defense, they've got Kari with Shea, and then Chaika with Dobson, and then they got Maverick <laughs> with um, Sergey. So there you go. There's a team. Their defense, not very good. They have... Kari, he's unreal, but the rest, not so great. Uh, and then, yeah, offense. It's just, like, sort of random highlights. And then this guy is listed as an other forward, Sergei Zubov. Anyways, do what you do, I suppose. They have Sorokin in net and Cranley as a backup. Scratch, they got uh, Ralph Benson, this poor guy. He's low elite, top six, 79 overall with five abilities not getting used. Rough go for him. Anyway... Let's do this thing. Um, first, I'll show you your Houston Hammerheads edit lines. So we got Raymond, Barzal, and Boss. Very good first line. Second line, Zabinijad, Newhook, and Olafson. Yeah, that's solid as well. What if I... Ooh, I might actually just do that for now. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to leave him there. Olafson, you can play third line. Your contract's almost up anyway, isn't it? Kind of close. How many points did you end up with this year? He had 49. Okay, well... I'm down to change things up. Let's try Fabian right there. All right, now our third line is absolutely stacked. We've got Brown, Thomas, and Olofsson, and then McLeod, Lindstrom, and Trent Moore. On defense, we've got Miro, Heiskanen, and Bouchard as a plus one on the first pair. And then we've got Sergachev and Kavanov. Wow, our team's actually, like, crazy. I think we should be able to make it to the finals this year if everything clicks. And then Teal... Yeah, he had a great season as well. 89 overall. Di Pietro, this guy's like, God, you know what? How's this guy doing? How did he do in the AHL? You know what? I think I missed doing the AHL stats again this year. But anyway, um, yeah, let's maybe, maybe we can have a look at those real quick. Doesn't hurt. Let's go to the stats here. Ryan Suzuki. Oh, and I also, okay, hold on, actually. Let me check something. Because I think someone said I had someone scratched in the NHL. And I want to make sure that... That's not true. If it is, I'm going to be upset because I just sat someone for a whole year again. Yep, there he is. Quinton Musty. boy. Way to go, man of the writ. What a GM you are. Trent Frederick. Just scratched the entire year. Oh. Anyway, let's uh <laughs> go to roster moves, shall we? Send down Musty and Frederick for a hopefully deep AHL playoff run. Let's go down to the bottom here. Musty and Frederick. Uh, Frederick has to go through waivers, but if he gets taken, you know what? You're probably better off somewhere than with us anyway at this point. I'm sort of not doing you any favors. So, yeah. Uh, never mind. He didn't get claimed. He went down to the AHL. So the NHL team's looking really good. Let me just do best lines here. I guess I'll put Suzuki up. He is 80 overall. You know, he's, he's all right. He's not bad. Jones is down to 79. Strongest is at 72. Musty's got to be on the first line. I don't care. I kind of want Hagel to play up there as well, but 
doesn't really matter, I suppose. And Yoshi. What's his potential? Low top six? Okay, I'm not that concerned then. Perlini can play there. Hagel can play there. Danielson can play there. Yeah, that should work. Let me check the scratch players here as well, just to make sure I'm not doing something I shouldn't. Okay, so no, not worried about you. Medium bottom six, meh. Medium top nine at 70 overall. Uh, Granlin, you gotta go in. Tuomo Granlin has to go in, for sure. Okay. And maybe this guy? 70 overall? We'll see. We'll see if we have room. Okay, so I am gonna take out... You know what? Screw you, Stronges. You're not doing anything. You're basically stuck, so... I'm going to, you know, just uh, get you out of there because you're not doing a whole lot for us anyway. But hopefully you can figure it out. Danielson. Oh, okay. I'll play him there for now. Yeah, he'll survive. Unless I can put him up here and it would be a plus one. No. Okay, he'll stay there for now then. Cool. HL team looks good. On defense, we look pretty solid. I think I actually... Had something going where I had some real good chemistry, but maybe not. Hmm. Well, this guy, he's 78 overall. I kind of want to play him on the first. And then if I move you up, it's a zero. Davies is a medium top four. And he shoots right. Addison. Oh, man. Something's got to work. Something has to work. You know what, I'll just leave you guys at the dash one there. Screw you. You can suck it up. Okay. And, yeah, they, they do not get along. Okay. And then Annette, Blumquist, and Bankston. I, you never even checked the stats. Let's do that quick. Suzuki put up 75 points in 82 games, so that's really good. Hosang with 65, Del Cole 59, and uh, we got Granlund here with 51. All right. He doesn't seem to be growing really either, though. He's sort of stuck as well, but hopefully that changes. And uh, Danielson put up 34. He's 78 overall. Okay. Cool. Let's go to the goalies. Um, wow. Blomqvist, a 923 and 193. That is very respectable. 48, 19, and 3 with 7 shutouts. And uh, Kelly, or maybe it's Cal, Banks Bankston, Bankston, did well as well with a 910 and 207. So, yeah. Good year for the AHL, boys. And they also killed it in the season with 56 Ws. All right, here we go. The Smashville Predators, Houston Hammerheads, round one. Yep, sim that AHL game. Here we go. First period. All right. Second. Oh, no. All right, well, third period. Let's see how it goes. Nice. Kavanov starting it off early ties it up. That's huge. And let's see if we can get one more to get the series lead here. No, Zubov is going to score on Teal. Man, Teal's not having a great first performance here. We had a power play. We're not able to capitalize. Nashville gets a power play, and they score again. Right after the power play, as a matter of fact. It wasn't even a power play goal. And then Dobson gets the empty netter. Teal played absolutely horrendous that game. Three stars. Yeah, and Sorokin stole the show. Amazing. Love that for our elite goaltender. Well, let's advance a day, shall we? And jump right into game number two. Zabinijad so leading the team at the moment. Okay, here we go. First. That's all right. And. Oh, 1-1 one, one, heading into three. Let's see how we can do this time. Both goalies playing quite well in this showing. And the shots are continuing to climb, but the score is not. Still 1-1. One, one. Anybody's game at this point. I'm going to say next goal wins for sure. Three minutes to go. Will we see overtime? Yes, we will. Now it is a guarantee next goal wins. Come on, Houston. We don't want to go down. We don't want to go down 2-0. That's not good. Power play and we couldn't capitalize. Halfway through the first overtime period. Shots are really climbing up there. Both goalies playing outstanding. Power play is going back and forth. That was a long one. Holy crap. And we are headed to OT2. Second OT. Look how many shots there are. This is insane. No! Dobson is going to bury one in overtime to put the Predators up. That is ridiculous. They got to be star one and two. Yeah. Unbelievable, man. You know what, guys? I'm doing it. Screw you, boss. Guy's not doing anything for us right now. So I'm moving Zabinijad up, who has two points. 
And I'm going to move Olafsson back up as well. Lysel can go back to that line. I might even, if I can. He is a center slash right wing. He's right wing, left wing. McLeod. Maybe do that. Yeah, maybe I will. Just stick Lysel on the fourth line for now. He's listed as a depth forward, so I mean, it's not going to hurt him. And then he's a fourth line. Okay. Who has the best face? I was probably McLeod, right? Yeah, 88. Holy. Okay, so he is good in the dot. What's Newhook's face-offs? 81, that's not bad. Barzell has 84. Okay, Raymond's down to 87. He literally dropped in overall. Well, I'm shuffling up the lines a little bit. I don't know if it'll actually do anything. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, let's put Bouchard with uh, Sergachev. And then Kavanaugh's been doing well. So we'll promote him up one. All right, some minor moves, but... Let's see if that shuffle can get the boys going here. And let's sim the game. Simulate. All right. This is it. We're down by two. Things aren't looking good. 0-0 zero, zero after one. one nothing hammerheads after two. Final period of play, and we go in with the lead. That's nice. I didn't even see who got the goal. I'm not even paying attention at this point. I'm just too nervous that we're going to get first rounded. All right. So far, so good, guys. Shots are up there. Yes, boss on the second line. Love to see it. You love to see it. Will that do it? It looks like it will. Sergachev going to bury one as well. Nice. Big victory for the lads. Who got the second one? Okay, Raymond. Cool. There we go. That's a big win. Three stars and a shutout for Teal. 27 save shutout. And then Sorokin, second star. The goalies are really having a duel in this series. I mean, after the first game because the first game, Teal got destroyed. Uh, Alex Newhook leading the team right now, which is great to see. Here we go. This is still a huge game. It'll either make it a best of three or it'll put us on the brink of elimination. Oh, yeah. Sergachev, Boss, and Newhook. That's huge. 4-1. Got another one from Boss. He belongs on that second line, man. I know everyone says you got to give him first line minutes. He is absolutely ripping it up on that second line. Okay, well... Things are definitely looking good. A short-handed goal from McLeod. Tomasino would get a goal after the power play expires, however. But it is still looking good for the Hammerheads here. Power play for us. Yeah, this is going to be a W. So we are headed to a best of three against Smashville. Good stuff. Okay. Three stars. Boss, two goals. Sergachev, one and one. And then Tomasino got two goals. Let's do this thing. This is a massive start to the best of three here. If we can win this, that is going to be humongous. First period. Nice start. Lundestrom with one. Lejoie with one. And Newhook gets another one. Amazing. Second period. Okay, okay. We still have the lead, though, which is nice. We managed to keep that. And no, we do not. Zubov scores. To make it 3-3. My voice just gave up on me and it's going to give up even more because Lejoie scored. Yeah, <laughs> I can't even talk. My voice just wants to quit. New hook puts the empty netter in and that makes it 5-3. If you check out the three stars here, Lejoie 2, New hook 2, and then that. I'm assuming it's Knack, but it could be Knack. But I just have a gut feeling it's Knack. Anyway, he's got two goals as well. So there you go. New hook is absolutely ripping it up right now. Amazing. So we have just won three in a row. And now we could put Smashville out. First period, 2-2. Two, two. New hook again. And Connor Brown gets one. They got one from Frost. And uh, what was that guy's name again? Michelin or something? I can't remember. It was something McLaren. Second period. Oh, no. McLaren again. And then Bufflin's going to bury one. It looks like we're heading to a game seven. Teal, what are you doing out there? Connor Brown, that's huge. Gets it started right here in the third period. We need one more to tie it up. One more to tie it up. Let's go, lads. Come on, dig deep. I don't want to go to a game seven. Yes, Bouchard! Let's go. It's 4-4. Four, four. It is 4-4. Four to four. I got to chill out because my voice is really about to give out on me. No! No! Hermy scores in overtime. Teal with an absolute brutal performance. Oh my word, that was terrible. Well, we're headed to Game 7 against the Smashville Predators. I need some water for this one. Here we go, Game 7. It all comes down to this. 
First period. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to do that. We're going to watch the whole thing. We're going to watch the entire game here, see how it unfolds. All right, shots are even so far. And we get started. Connor Brown's going to put one in to get the Hammerheads the lead. That is the right way to start off this game. Okay. First period. Not super eventful. But we do have the lead heading into two. And Zabinijad will score to start off the second. Giving us a 2-0 lead now. Amazing. That's a good start. We are very good at starting periods off apparently. Nice. Olofsson scores. And that gives us a 3-0 lead now. Definitely looking good. Definitely going to win. I'm saying it right now. We've won. We've done it. We've actually done it. We're so good. Let's not go. Let's not go. Forsberg. Yes, new hook. You legend. 4-1. Keep it going. Keep it going. That clock needs to expire immediately. Halfway through the third. We still have a three-goal lead. The Preds are right on the edge here. And they just need a little shove. There it is. It is done. A huge series comeback there for the Houston Hammerheads. And that will do it. Teal playing well. Maybe it's his poise or like consistency. It's not good or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, that's huge. Great game from the lads. And we are moving on to round number two. So let's simulate and find out who we are going to be playing in round number two, uh, stop simulation. The HL team got rinsed in the first round. Really? Okay. Anyway, like, did they? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Anyway, new hook, nine points in seven games. We got the Oilers. Oh, boy. Coming up next. They finished 5, 2, and 3 with an overall record of 45, 30, and 7. Okay, well, let's have a look at our... Individual stats in the playoffs so far. Playoff player stats. New hook has nine. Sergachev with eight. Look at this guy go. Look at this dude. What a legend. Olison. Point a game. Connor Brown, five and seven. Boss with five. Uh, Bouchard with five as well. Raymond only with four. Don't know what's going on with him, but he's not doing great. Moore has four. Look at this guy. We're getting some depth points here. This is huge. Lysel has two. That's okay. I'll take that. Robert Thomas is just an absolute flop. Uh, McLeod with one, but he's winning draws, and I'm pretty sure that was an important goal, so I'll accept it. Um, let's go to goalies. So, we actually never put DiPietro in, even though Teal had two absolute belters. But anyway, uh, four, one, and two, with a shutout and a 920, plus a uh, 230 GAA. So, yeah, he's doing good. He's doing good. Let's go, Esteban. All right, guys, things are looking good. We managed to sneak past round one. Not in a very convincing fashion, but we made it through nonetheless. And I'll show you the playoff tree just to show you what everything looks like. So that is what we're gearing up for here in round number two. I'll see you guys then.